Hi, I'm Lori Fetrick, and I played ice on the American Gladiators for nine years. The American Gladiators were icons. We were the first of the kind. We were the first of the reality shows. Our show aired in over 12 countries. We toured around the United States and sold out arenas such as Madison Square Gardens. We had action figures, toys. They were all made in our likeness. Because we were the first competition show, many of the shows today are based on the American Gladiators. It was the competition phenomenon of the 80s and 90s. Chiseled professional athletes battling everyday American amateurs and themselves. But it was more than a contest of physical combat. It was a test of mental warfare, where sometimes the smaller, weaker contestant prevailed. We had the time of our lives. They actually paid us to do what we love. I can't believe it's almost been three decades. After 30 years, the TV show that took America by storm created a fitness craze never seen before. Where are they now? With the upcoming 30th anniversary since the debut of American Gladiators, many of us have stayed in touch with one another. I kept my gladiator shape because I've stayed in the fitness industry for all these years as a fitness professional trainer. Another beloved gladiator continues to make his mark with fans and people too young to even remember the show. These days, Danny Lee Clark, AKA Nitro, is active battling childhood obesity through education, motivating and empowering America's youth. Another gladiator inspiring America's youth is Red Williams, AKA Saber. Because Respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, exclamation point. I get to kick butt. American Gladiator. Saber grew up in the gangs of East LA. Find out how he's inspiring the youth today as a minister. Other gladiators didn't fare so well. Shelly Beatty, known as Siren, was a fan favorite. Siren takes a bow. After the show was canceled, she descended into depression and eventually committed suicide. In 2016, America lost another gladiator, Lee Rareman, Hawk. He was found dead at the age of 50, a blood clot through his heart. On the show, Hawk was best known for his hawk-like antics. I get to wear a really cool uniform. Oh, yeah. He had the most light-hearted spirit about him. Get the full story on what did happen to the gladiators and where are they now, nearly 30 years later. Join us for the highs, the lows, the behind the scenes, off the scenes, you name it, we've got it. You want to be part of the American Gladiators, where are they now? American Gladiators, just watch it.